Hello, everybody. And uh, this will be the second part to his Muslims versus Christians. And I lost where I was. I think it's somewhere around here. That sounds about right. Discussion because the Muslims actually read their information and their stories. They actually know the. Oh, is it logical also that, uh, you know, according to Muhammad, Mo um, Moses went swimming and rocks stole his cloth, clothing and ran off with them. According to Muhammad, a whale was packed up like a suitcase and brought with them. And there's all these weird stories. And so they know. Are you kidding me? And you ask them about this. They know nothing about these stories. They just know how to answer Christians on a few of the basic levels and a few basic questions they give. Even their answers aren't very um, comprehensive. And you'll notice that they'll always turn the tide and try to bring the topic away from Islam and onto Christianity. Christian religion better than most of the Christians that I've ever met. Now... That's not to say that the Muslim religion is worth following or that I'm going to accept it or stop being an atheist and become a Muslim myself. But one more thing I wanted to share with you all that I think you'll find interesting too. A while back when I lost my account on YouTube, my first account, did you know it was Muslims who contacted me as well as pagans, as well as a couple Satanists, actually acknowledging and giving me respect and stating that they would let me upload videos to their channel. Gee, I wonder why that is, Brett. Couldn't figure it out. Maybe because you made 200 videos a day trying to attack Christianity and Muslims like that. And so a friend of your enemy, uh, sorry, uh, yeah, an, an enemy of your enemy is your friend. And so, yeah, okay, you... You know, they didn't agree with you that you're an atheist or whatever, but you're still attacking Christianity and therefore, in some way, also promoting Islam. And by doing this, you were also fueling them with fire of fueling their fire on how to ask questions to Christians. But I guess you failed to realize that. And isn't it funny that that um, the atheists weren't supporting you to come back? That Amazing Atheist was calling you names and mocking you, and now you're like, oh, promoting his videos and sucking up to him? That's kind of funny. Uh, I also find it weird that, you know, why, why do you think they want your videos on there? Because you're attacking Christianity, and they're against it. The whole Quran is a, a, about attacking Christianity and Judaism and paganism. But here's the thing. You know, if they're so good as you're claiming, how come you're living under what used to be a Christian country built upon Christian laws? Why don't you go live in the Middle East under Islamic laws and see how well they will treat you as an atheist? See, here you... You have freedom and you can make fun of Christianity and we, we'll make a response video about where you lied. But for the most part, we're not going to do anything against what you're doing. Try and do that in the Middle East against Islam. And they will make you their barbecue. That's right. They actually gave me their account and their passwords and all that and told me go do videos. I had uh, one particular Muslim called Sword of Allah who is still on YouTube today. Well, it's funny how you mention about Christian Muslim debate. Well, we made Plastic Sword of Allah a joke in our room when we debated him. And I think you can find the debate on YouTube. I'm not sure. If anything, you can find it on Muhammad Tube. And so you're going to mention all this. Yeah, okay, a few of the debates you have seen. But have you seen the ones with Sam Shimon? Um... And, you know, have you seen them all or have you only seen the debates that Muslims show you and invite you to? See, we don't invite you into our rooms to debate, to watch debates between Christians and Muslims because really, who are you anyways? You're attacking our faith. You don't care about Christians. You insult them all the time. You disrespect them. 
Okay, the Muslims would love to see you in there because you help and are a part of what they do, which is trying to destroy Christianity. Who allowed me to take over his channel for a little while and upload videos until he was flagged to death by idiots and zealot Christians and shit and lost his account. Well, I am against any flagging uh, for what people do anywhere. Um, if YouTube is really going to be what it is, it should have open channels on all sides and everything should be acceptable um, so long as it follows their guidelines and you're not exposing other people's personal information uh, and all the rest. Unless people themselves put their information up there. That's their fault for doing that. Um, anyways, my challenge still stands for you. Your next 20 or 10 videos or whatever it is I said, make them about Islam. If you said you don't agree with it like you did in this video, well, why not? And I don't want to see some double standards where you're going to be soft and talk about a few things you don't agree with. I want you to use the same standards you use against Christianity. And if you're not going to make those videos, I want you to tell me why.